video, I want to show you how to create this super cool puzzle rotoscope effect. And this is the effect that we're going to be creating. Super easy to do. So I have the clips in the timeline ready to go. I'm going to select the first clip and I'm going to hold option and drag upwards to duplicate the clip. Then I'm going to go over to the effects and I'm going to go to the Mroto AI plugin again. So go ahead and click and drag that directly onto the one we just copied. And you're going to have this little window right here with the M tracker. Drag over your subject. In this case, the girl. You can go ahead and just make sure you select her hair and everything. Now, because we started this right around here or at one second and five frames, it's not going to track anything before that. So we're just going to go ahead and just click on the tracker button and we can track backwards and then track forwards. I'm going to go ahead and track backwards this time just to show you how this works. You need to track backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on that. And now we're going to track forwards exactly where we are in the timeline. There you go. So now we can see this is the result we have. And I'm going to go over to the inspector tab under the motion or the M Roto AI uh, plugin, you're going to go to output right now. It's set to merge. We're going to do mass video to see our result and you can hide the video underneath. So here's our masked out video using the M Roto. So now you can do, of course, you have more settings. If you want, you can adjust the precision. You can do accurate, fast or super fast. So I'm going to go to smoothness and you can see how this kind of adjusts that. We can shrink it outwards or inwards. Honestly, I think this looks great how it is. Maybe we can do a little bit of a blur. I'm going to rename this just so I don't lose track of what it is. So I'm going to do masked video one. Once we are happy with this, we'll go over to the effects, go to the masks and king and under the mask and king, add the draw mask onto the clip and you're going to do three points. I'm going to go kind of like a little random, but the idea here is that you want to create a puzzle type of effect. Click once over here, once over on her uh, left side or right side. Just make sure that if I zoom in onto the video that it's over our subject. We don't want it to be like this because then it will just be cut off. So the reason we're doing it this way is so that we can kind of cut out what's inside of this triangle and then you can just adjust it to maybe you want it like this. We have the draw mask selected. We're going to go over to the transform tool. So add a keyframe. I can click on done so we can just see our mask. Go under the transform and you should have all of these already checked if you add a keyframe over here under the transform tool and we're going to increase the scale like to about 400 so we're going to go with this and we're going to go to about a minute and five frames and under scale all we're going to type in 100 so just press enter and now if i go back and push play it's going to start big and go to the original size like that hold option and drag upwards to duplicate the same clip select that clip under the draw mask because we have our same selection we're actually going to go to the last frame wherever it ends so right here zoom in to i don't know 150 i'm going to move all of these points except this one the idea is that we don't want to move this line so this just makes it so it's easier all we got to do is just change the scale so move the playhead to the beginning and just adjust the scale a little bit we can make this one a little smaller and then if you right click on that video and go to show video animation, we're going to extend this draw mask out inwards to make it go faster. If we want that piece to come in a second, just drag it out a few frames. What this will do is it will create kind of like a parallax effect and it'll look kind of like this super slow. And then it comes in. We're going to do it one more time. So hold option at that very top clip. I'm going to rename this. So first I'm going to do two. And then hold option, drag upwards, and I'm going to rename this clip again so we can stay a little bit organized. The top piece here, we don't want to move because that's her face. We're kind of constructing her face, if that makes sense. So now we need to construct her body. So we're going to move the top control point. We're just going to move this all the way down. And if you need to, you can just add another point. If you right click in between the red line and just drag it outwards like that. If we go back, we adjust again the scale at the very beginning, a little bit bigger maybe or smaller. I'm going to make this bigger. I'm going to right click, go to show video animation. You can see our keyframe and we can extend this out just a tad so that it comes in last. And if we disable this bottom clip here, so there's nothing behind, it should look something like this. So I'm just kind of skimming it through. And you can tell part of her head got cut off, as you can see. So I'm just going to move this and move it out just a little bit. But you're going to see that that adjusts it a little bit. So we're going to just move this out like that. If we can keep it in a straight line, we want to make sure there's no gap. So there's a little bit of a gap. So go to draw mask. If I zoom in to about 150% or so, just move this line so that there's no gap. Okay, there we go. That is fine. Perfect. So now if we move our second clip underneath the masked video one so it should look something like this 
it's coming in and then it finishes off just like that and then we don't want our bottom clip to be continuously playing after it finishes the effect so right where it ends about here we're going to just trim the end of that second clip right there so that our second or our bottom clip continues playing say you want this one to come in slower then you're gonna have to adjust the rest have her head finish last and her body first so we're gonna go to the second mass video two. go to show video animation and we're gonna speed this one up so that it goes like that so here is the finished effect she comes in and then it ends right on that last frame which is here i'm gonna just move it by one frame and it comes in like that. And then the last and final thing, if I just group everything together, I'm gonna name this grouped. I'm going to add my Scribble Film Leaders from my Scribble Film Leaders pack. Link is in the description if you guys want to get that. Again, I have a free sample pack. Here's the Scribble Film Leader. I'm just gonna simply drag and drop. These are drag and drop assets, so there's no need to install it whatsoever. So I'm gonna move this Luma Swipe Transition, which is actually from the 40 Luma Swipe Transitions pack. Just make sure that this overlays onto in between your two clips. So here is where it ends right there i might want to drag the luma swipe transition and then i can speed this one up by pressing command r bringing it in so here's our final result there it is with the scribble film meters it just looks so so cool with this one and it looks a lot better with the rotoscoped clip feel free to try it out for yourself link is in the description and if you guys like this video please consider leaving a like subscribing so you don't miss out on a video like this and i'll catch you guys next time